Welcome to 2014 series of recordings for Health One. We are releasing a new version of Health One in January 2014. In this series of videos, I am going to discuss the drug module changes in this version of Health One. This is a summary of the changes in this version. They all relate to the drug module. The first one is the patient information. When you are editing a drug, uh, as you know, uh, you can input some information that will be printed out relating to this patient. We have changed this now, whereby it used to be saved for this drug for all patients. It now applies only to the current patient. The first function I am going to demonstrate is the patient information. I have a patient open and I am prescribing prednisolone 5 milligrams for this patient. So I'll just double click on the drug and in the past if you had information in here in the patient information section it would be automatically printed and you would have to change it if you wanted to change it for a different patient. Now this section has been cleared, there is nothing in here. However, by the very fact that there's a little star here next to the patient information, I know that I have some information stored and I can use that information if I so wish. If I just point my cursor into the box, I see that this is the information I have already recorded for this drug for some patient or another. So if I just double click on that, I will bring up this information and this information will now be printed for this particular patient. I could delete that information and now I have no information for this patient or for any other patient. So if I uh, cancel that and I double click on it again, you see there is no information here. Okay, so I can double click on it and it comes up again but there is only one set of information available to be printed out. You can delete that and put in some other text if you so wish. So that is a change to the patient information. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prescribe a drug. <clears throat> we take the MST out of here. And I'm going to prescribe a drug which is a control drug, MST. Let's say 20 milligrams and I can double click on it and I can decide in here the bottom of the screen let's first of all give them a dosage one tablet twice a day for 28 days uh, and that's tabs one tablet we say twice a day gives them 56 down at the bottom here I have two options. One is to dispense this brand only, which I'm not dealing with at this minute. But this is a function already there, but we have expanded it now. If this drug is, is ticked here to be handwritten, then Health One knows that this drug is flagged to be handwritten. And I say OK, and this drug will always be handwritten. In fact, I'll move that into the repeats. Likewise, if I want a drug to be uh, a particular brand to be uh, dispensed, I can edit that drug there or I can do it when I'm prescribing it and I can say dispense this brand only and tick it here. What are, the, what are the consequences of this? The consequences of this are as follows. If I now prescribe all and print them, I have a new prescription report here called GMS control drugs. This will be distributed to everybody via the live update and it will take care of all your repeat prescriptions for GMS printouts so you don't have to, it's not just for control drugs but I call it control drugs here. And I'm going to preview the printout here and in this case you have your information printed here but only because you asked for it to be printed and for the control drug, Health One has noted that it is a handwritten prescription and therefore with this particular report it has printed the drug on the right hand side here 
uh, to alert the doctor that it should be handwritten and he should handwrite it over here on the left. There are other ways of doing this, but this is just a handy way to alert the doctor that it should be handwritten. As you can see, I have also, for the purposes of this demonstration, indicated that tritase and cardura should be dispensed as such by the pharmacist. You can do this or not as you please. I'm now going to go back, close that, and I'm going to discuss in more detail the uh, feature of the handwritten drugs. So I can call any drug, such as Oromorph, and if I prescribe it, I can say it's handwritten or not. But if I say this drug is handwritten here, I am only saying that Oromorph, 10 milligrams per 5 mils oral solution, is handwritten. It would be better, for example, if I called all these Oromorphs here, and I clicked up here on the menu item prescriptions and there's a new menu item here called update the handwritten attribute and I can set the handwritten attribute here for every drug in this list so I will be setting it for all these drugs in one go not just the one drug that I'm prescribing and if I set it I will say yes I do want to set it all for all 12 drugs now no matter what drug I prescribe here it will be ticked as handwritten so I could do this for any list of drugs. Let's unset that again. Select that set of prescriptions and unset the handwritten attribute. So anyone now I double click on, it would be autumn, it would be by default unset. I could reset it here. I could go further than this and I could um, sort my drug list here by ATC code. So this is now, I'm going to get a list of all my drugs by a particular ATC code. So let's find the nervous system, analgesics, and opioids. And these are N02A. So I could, if I wanted, sort my list by all the opioids. And I've got a list of all my opioids here. And I could, if I wanted to, update and set the handwritten attribute for all opioids. Now, this is just a little bit careful here because some opioids, as it happens, are not uh, necessary to handwrite. For example, uh, Zydol. I'm not sure if Zydol actually needs to be handwritten. So I could, if I wanted, undo that and type uh, Zydol. And I could unset for this particular list my handwritten attribute, but at the moment they are set. So what does that mean, setting the handwritten? Once it's set, all it means is that Health One knows that it's to be handwritten. Now when you prescribe it, it'll give it a little icon here, which is a hand, which means it's handwritten. And if I then print it using this form, because you have to edit this form, or else take the one I'm sending out, to allow it to be printed in such a fashion this is all done automatically for you if you use the uh, GMS prescription form called GMS Controlled Drugs.